Hi everyone, welcome to our advanced level stretching and mobility class. My name is Anissa and I'm a registered kinesiologist with Physiomobility. And my name is Sabrina and I'm a student kinesiologist with Physiomobility. Before we get started, I just want to briefly go over some health and safety protocols. First things first, if you do have any balance or dizziness or vertigo issues, please make sure that you have a support system nearby, whether that be another person, a sturdy chair, or a countertop, just to help you with any standing movements. Secondly, if you do have any objects around you, in front of you, or to the side that you may hit, please move them out of the way now. There's no equipment needed. For this class, we will have a circuit consisting of eight exercises, which you can repeat up to two to three times depending on your comfort level. With that being said, let's get started. Okay, so for the first mobility exercise that we're going to do today, I'm going to be showing all of them in a standing position and Sabrina's going to be showing in a seated one. For this one, we're going to have our legs a bit wider than shoulder width apart, feet slightly turned out. What we're going to do here is open up the arms, reaching up towards the ceiling, nice and tall, and then relax down, head's the last thing to come down. Good, slowly around the back, reach down the legs, nice and slow, reaching forward. Good, coming back up, nice and slow, up the legs, head stays down, and slowly rolls back up and again, opening up, open up the chest, shoulders up straight towards the ceiling. Good, and now relax down, down the legs, round the back. Good, reaching forward. Good, slowly coming back up. And heads last thing up again. And let's go again, reaching up, open up the chest and the shoulders, reach tall towards the ceiling. Good, dropping down nice and slowly round the back, reach down the legs. Good, nice and slow, reaching forward. Each one you should be trying to get a little bit lower. Good, and coming back up, nice and slow. Good, we're gonna do it one more time, opening up. Good, up towards the ceiling. Very nice and slow, down. Reaching down the legs. Out forward as much as possible. Let the head relax, breathe. Good, so now slowly coming back up and make sure that head is the last thing to come up. Okay, so for this next mobility exercise, what we're gonna be doing is stretching the upper back and the shoulders. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna clasp your hands together or what you can do is clasp one hand over top of the other. What you're gonna do from here is you're gonna hunch your shoulders forward, drop the head down, pushing forward as much as possible and then reaching over side, pushing that shoulder forward and then other side. Same thing. So as you're reaching side to side, you want to push that shoulder a little bit more so you're feeling more of a stretch in the upper back. From there, if you have the capability, what you're going to do after you reach forward and then go side to side, you're going to reach up overhead and then tilt to one side and the other side so you're feeling more of a stretch in the lats, okay? If you can't reach overhead, just keep going side to side, okay? So from here, clasp the hands, Reaching out forward, nice and slow. Good, hunch the back, drop the head. And reaching over to the left. Good, and reaching over to the right. Pushing that left shoulder forward. Good, come back to the middle. Nice and slow, up overhead if you can. Good, and then over to the left. And then over to the right. Good, and back down. And again, here, pushing forward. Good, reaching over to the left. Reaching over to the right. Breathe. Good, back to the middle. Up overhead if you can. Stretching over to the left. And then stretching over to the right. And good, back down. Let's do it one more time, okay? And reaching forward, drop the head. Good, stretch over to the left. Stretch over to the right. Back to the middle. Up overhead. Good, and stretch over to the left. 
and stretch over to the right. And good, and relax your arms down. Okay, so now for the next one, we're gonna be working more of our lower back and our hamstrings. Okay, so for this one, I'm gonna have my legs straight and more uh, feet together. What we're gonna do is, and Sabrina, sorry, she's sitting closer towards the edge of the chair, nice and upright. Her legs are out straight too. From here, what you're gonna do is again, slowly bend down towards the ground as much as you can. You're gonna hold your leg here. From here, what you're gonna do is bend one leg and straighten the other, and then bend the other leg and straighten the other one. Come straighten both of them out. Good, and then slowly roll back up, okay? So I'm just gonna show that from the side so you can see a little bit better. So from here, sitting up nice and tall first, nice and slow, rotating down forward. Okay, holding the leg here, both legs are straight. Then I'm gonna slowly bend one leg, so I'm feeling an extra stretch on one side. Bend the other leg, same thing. Straighten both legs, and then slowly rolling back up. Okay, so let's go again, and reaching down. Good, nice and slow. Bending one leg, good, bend the other. Straighten out both legs and slowly roll back up. Good, and again, let's try and go a little bit further this time. Going down, nice and slow, hold it there with the leg straight. Good, bend one leg, straighten the other. Good, and switch. Keeping both legs straight and rotate back up. Good, and one more time, reaching down, nice and slow, like straight. Good, bending one leg. Good, switch and bend the other, keeping one leg straight. Straighten both legs. And nice and slow, back up, nice and tall. Okay, so for the next one, we're gonna be stretching out more of the sides of our lower back, as well as a bit of our legs too. So what we're gonna do is gonna reach out to one side of our leg here. Sabrina's sitting at the edge of her chair. Again, feet are wider than shoulder width apart. So I'm nice and tall, we're gonna go down. One leg here. Good, nice and slow. From here, what you're gonna do is bend the opposite leg. So you're pulling, feeling a bit more of a stretch on the opposite side of that back. Hold it here, breathe, good. And now relax back into the middle. Walk your hands over to the other side. Other leg, same thing. Now we're gonna bend the opposite leg. Feeling more of a stretch there. Hold. Good, come back to the middle, and we're gonna stand back up, or sit up nice and tall, okay? So, let's start on the left side, okay? So here, and we're gonna go reaching down, nice and slow, good, bend your right leg, feeling that stretch on the right side of your lower back, make sure that you're breathing, good, hold, and good, straighten out the leg, Walk your hands over to the other side. Same thing, relax, bend your left leg. Breathe, make sure you're holding, feeling that stretch on the left side of your lower back. Good, straighten out the leg, walk back to the middle, and slowly come back up. Okay, and again, starting on the left side, nice and slow. Deep breath as you relax down. Good, breathe in and out, hold, bend the right leg. Let's hold that stretch here, taking a few deep breaths. Good. And now straighten out that right leg, walking your hands over to the other side now, bending your left leg. Let's go down deep into the stretch. Hold, breathe. Good, straighten out the left leg. 
walk the hands back to the middle and slowly come back up nice and tall one more time okay here again reaching down the left leg bending the right hold and stretch breathe good now you should be getting as deep as you can on this one good straighten the leg walking over other side same thing now we're gonna bend the left leg hold that stretch breathe nice and slow good straight out the leg bring back to the middle and slowly lifting back up so for this next mobility exercise we are going to be doing a sumo squat into a rotation for our lower back as well as and same with our mid and upper back okay so this one we're going to have our legs wide apart sabrina is showing modified version sitting on the edge of the chair what you're going to do is reach down into the middle as far as you can from here she's going to open up her back reaching up towards the ceiling and slowly back down good and then same thing on the other side slowly down and then she'll come and sit back up nice and tall okay so us uh, same thing we're going to be going into a nice deep sumo squat so going as low as you can if you can't go all the way down you want to try and push your knees out as much as you can here from there you're going to keep the legs bent push the hips up a little bit open up one side back down to the middle and open up the other side and back down standing up nice and tall okay so we're gonna go nice and slow starting sitting up nice and tall we're gonna go down to the squat good reaching down pushing those knees out even if you're sitting good reaching on down the floor push the knees back up slightly now we're gonna open up right arm open up towards the ceiling good reaching down open up left arm Good, reaching down and standing up nice and tall. And again, let's go reaching down, pushing those knees out. Good, feel a stretch. Okay, and let's open up, reaching up, right arm. Good, down and left arm. And down and slowly back up good one more time reaching down pushing those knees out good getting that stretch good let's open up right arm breathe good down left arm breathing down and slowly back up yeah. Okay, so for this next mobility stretch, what we're going to be doing is a hip flexor lunge, okay? So what you're going to be showing here, Sabrina's going to show the modified version, so she's holding onto the bar. Like I said before at home, if you have a chair or sturdy chair or table, you can hold onto that as well. What she's going to do is lunge, push the hips forward, make sure she's tucking the hips under, really getting a good stretch, and she's going to lean slightly side to and to the other side. We're gonna be doing the exact same thing in a standing position just with no support, okay? So we're gonna start with the right side. Okay, so here, and get into a big lunge, pushing the hips forward, keeping that back leg straight, okay? Hip forward, let's lunge to the side, good. And other side. Back to the middle. Good, and relax, and good. Again, let's lunge forward, hip down. Good, lunging to the side. Good, and other side. Back to the middle, and relax. We're gonna do one more time here, okay? Lunging forward, pushing that hip down. Good, to feel a bit more comfortable now. Let's go to the side other side back to the middle and up good okay so from here we're gonna switch legs so now we're gonna have our left leg out in front nice big lunge let's push the back leg straight let's push the hip forward good feeling that stretch 
Let's lean to the side. Good. Other side. Back to the middle. And relax. Good, and again, lunging forward, hip down. Really keep that back leg straight. Good, lunge to the right. Good, lean to the left. Back to the middle. And up. Good, and one more time. Lunging down, nice and deep. Hip forward, hold. Good, let's lean to the right. Let's lean to the left. Back to the middle. And standing up nice and tall. Good. Okay, so for the next stretch, we're gonna be stretching our quads here. So Sabrina's showing, demonstrating holding on to a table or a chair, in her case, a bar. She's gonna be grabbing her ankle here, keeping her hips forward, knees are together, and she's pulling that ankle straight back, okay? So we're doing the exact same stretch, just not using support, okay? So let's start with the right side. So here, grabbing the right ankle, keeping the hip forward, and pulling back. Good, so you want to feel a stretch in the quad because easier you can pull even further back if you need to get a deeper stretch. Good, just hold and relax, good. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other side now. So I'm just gonna show forward. So here, grabbing the ankle, bringing the knees together, tucking the hip under so it's nice and forward and pull back if you need to, to feel a deeper stretch in the hip and the quad. Good, hold there and relax. We're gonna go again, right side and grabbing. Good, knees together, hips forward, pulling straight back. Hold, good, and switch. Other side, good, and grabbing left ankle, knees together, hips forward and pull back. Good, breathe and hold. Perfect, switch one more time each side. So grabbing the right ankle, knees together, hips forward. Good, feeling a nice stretch. You can lean forward, get a little bit deeper if you need to. Good, relax. Same thing, other side. Grabbing left ankle, knees together, hips forward, and pulling straight back. Good, breathe, feel that stretch in the quad and the hip. And good, relax down. Okay, so now for the last mobility exercise, we're going to be doing side lunge for an adductor stretch more in the inner thigh, okay? So for this one, you're gonna have your legs wide apart. Sabrina's so showing modified, she's holding onto the bar here. Legs are wide apart, feet turn out. She's gonna be lunging down to one side. Good, really pushing that left hip down. And then same thing onto the other side, okay? So we're gonna do the same thing in standing, once again, just no support. So here, pushing the hips back, emphasis on pushing the inner thigh down towards the ground, okay? So we're gonna start here, and let's go onto the left side first, pushing the right hip down, hips back. Good, standing up tall, and other side, nice and slow. Pushing that hip and thigh down towards the ground. Good, up, and other side. Good, feel that stretch, breathe, hold. Good, other side, standing up, down to the right, good. Pushing that hip down. Good, standing up tall, one more time, each side, okay? Down to the left. Stretching in the hip, good, and up, and then again down to the right, stretching that hip down, and back up to the middle, perfect. If you have any questions or you'd like to book a free consult with one of our therapists, our information will be linked right here. Have a good day, see you next time.